as you might have noticed, something is up in this castle. These people actually recognize me, as opposed to every single other town I've been to in the present. And every other town I will go to in the present. I'm pretty sure, from what I can remember right now, this is the only scenario in which the people of the present recognize you as the time travelers, time traveling heroes from the past, or whatever. Um, you got a queen who looks just like the last one. And, uh, yeah. We're back in the desert. We are the great saviors. De all this. The stuff about desert is making me think about just desserts. Well, you know it's actually supposed to be spelled like desert and not dessert as in a fruity snack you eat after a meal. Because, uh... Yeah, the word dessert used to mean consequences, but now it means sandy place. Or, now it exclusively means sandy place, it used to mean both. And that's your, um, that's your egg corn lesson for the day. Google egg corns. You might find a big list. They're, they're, uh, it's a linguistic thing where people mishear some sort of, uh, regular phrase, but turn it into their own regular phrase that also makes sense in another way. Egg corns. It's interesting stuff. And they sung, danced, and ate more than they ever thought they could. We get a lot of feasts. And black screens telling us about the feasts. And the feast continued until dawn. <laughs> Queen Nephthys. Nephthys. Yes, the item she asked us to take. The rubies from the Sphinx's eye. Um, that item's actually important. And it will fit... Fi it will work its way into the main storyline eventually. Which is interesting, you know. This is what you would call a main storyline island. Most of the islands here are tangential to the main story, except that the general story is about the Demon Lord sealing away items. Um, I don't think I want any of these items. Maybe the magic shield. But with sword dance, you know, I'm, I'm really, really strong. You may have noticed. <clears throat> I don't have to worry too much about equipment for a while. Um, we got scholars here. What do the scholars say? The dark ruby. Safely stored in my bag. <laughs> Let's hope the monsters don't look there. <laughs> like if we're ever kidnapped or anything. Well, this is where Dragon Quest Eight. We'd be kidnapped all the time. Or held hostage, or you know, put in jail or whatever. But this isn't Dragon Quest VIII. This is Dragon Warrior Seven, And uh, things like that don't happen in this game. We're actually tough. We stand up to people. I don't let them boss us around. <sighs> Lots of slowdown. There must be something wrong with my computer. But I'm a little too buzzed to care about that, and honestly, what do you care anyway? If you're watching this on YouTube, you're not having to put up with playing it yourself. Oh, it's like they made a nice little sanctuary down here. Isn't this pretty? See, the Fane's treasury. Treasures beyond our wildest dreams. I'll have to steal those someday. Not now, though. 
It'll, it'll probably be a while. I can't remember when you get these treasures. It might be the next time you're here. In the next uh, Dune scenario. So basically the first disc is about reviving islands. And the second disc is about saving the world from the Demon Lord. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Second disc is much shorter. There's not a lot to see there. And the whole Demon Lord story isn't particularly interesting, except that it opens up a another boss. Uh, a secret boss, whom we'll try to beat. Um, I think that's it for Dune. I don't think there are any more shards in there. We can't get back to the Sphinx yet. But it is still there. At some point, we'll go back there. Um, it's actually the hardest dungeon of the second disc because there are some monsters that can sort of instant kill you and, you know, they're bitches. Well, let's see if that's all that we had to do. By going and checking and see if that soul shard we picked up was, uh... What, what, what kind of shard was that, anyway? It was a land shard. Okay, so we have a couple land shards. Let's go try to fit them in to the land thingy. Thingamabubububu.